Guys, welcome back again to my channel. It's your favorite YouTuber, King Kwesi, back again with another video of my life experience here in China. Today, we are in the city called Wuhan. In 2019-2020, Wuhan became the talking point all over the world because COVID broke out in this city. Everybody was talking about Wuhan. But today, we are in Wuhan to experience the first Chinese monorail, SkyTrain, riding through the skies in this beautiful city called Wuhan. This is China's first monorail or sky train in Wuhan. This sky train or monorail moves on this rail at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. The monorail at a go can accommodate 200 passengers on one ride. So today I'm here to show you guys China's first monorail or sky train that is developed in the city Wuhan. This train was developed by a Chinese company in Qingdao in the Shandong province of China. This train has 16 stops across this route and today i'm in this park this beautiful area to go into the train station out here and experience china's first sky train or monorail guys this is china in 2024 the first try of this sky train happened in may 2023 in the year 2023 september it was commercialized and people all over the world can come here and experience this train ride. So today, it's time for King Kwesi to go on this train and experience China's first sky train or monorail developed in China. So guys, let's go. As I share my experiences riding this sky train in China. I remember vividly that back home in Ghana, our vice president promised that Ghana was gonna have a sky train like this, riding through the cities of Accra, the capital of Ghana. But two months into election, for the government of Ghana, the current government, to go into another election, nothing of that sort has happened. Though Ghana invested millions of cities, millions of dollars, into this project already. But in Ghana, they promised that a sky train invested money, but nothing can be found. In China, the government thinks about the people. So you can see investment across major cities like this in China. Wuhan who was the talking point for COVID. Now Wuhan is the talking point of infrastructure and development in 2024. So let's go and experience this sky train. This train operates on artificial intelligence, so it's a driverless ride. There is no driver commuting this train from one point to another, making it one of the driverless trains in the world. There are a lot of sky trains all over the world, but China's sky train is quite different. And today, look at the number of people here experiencing this train ride. So guys, it's such a beautiful experience. It has actually become a tourist attraction for a lot of people across China who do come here to have a ride. So today, King Quest, I'm also here to have a ride of this sky train. Let's go and do it together. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are still watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share. So the train suspends in the air through this rail. How amazing that every city across China, there's some level of development that will surely blow your mind. How cool is this? Now the train ride is coming. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go right under the rail to capture this for you guys. Right under the rail. How cool is that? How cool that the train is riding straight into the building. The normal train takes so many years to build, but this train takes few couple of months to build. And it's gonna be the next big thing that's gonna happen across China. This is actually now being piloted in Wuhan and very soon it's going to be spread across major cities in China. Wuhan is now a technology hub. Wuhan is now a city for new amazing development that we are all experiencing here in China. And this train is elevated 30 meters above the ground and it operates on magnetic elevation. It's also driverless because it runs on artificial intelligence. I've seen so many things. My first train ride was in China. My first subway ride was in China. My first EV ride was in China. My first time I was traveling to Ghana was to China. And today is going to be my first time having a ride on a monorail or a sky train. And it's obviously China. China, thank you so much for the impact. Thank you so much for the impact you have had in my life living here for this period of time. I've gotten to experience so many amazing things and I'm always grateful to this country for the opportunity for me to be here 
and experience this level of development and eye-opening experiences across major cities in China. Like I said, this has also become a tourist site for locals and people from different parts of China as they all come here to have an experience of this monorail. Well, I look at the train coming right above me. And there are a lot of things going on here. See children enjoying some face painting. Uh, people selling different items. So actually, it's a tourist attraction. Now let's go get our tickets and enjoy this train ride. Ma Piao, this is Sao Mao Mama. Sao Yi Sao Mai. Mai. Do Tian. Do Sha. San Shi Kwai. So it costs 30 yuan to get on the ride. So I need to scan with my WeChat. Jifu Ba, Weishin Do Kei Bima. Uh, WeChat. Ah, uh, hala. So I'm using the WeChat app to scan. Ah, uh, Nikhil Bauma. Naiga. Oh, San Shi Kwai. Right. It costs 30 yuan to get on the train. And yeah, I just bought a ticket online using my WeChat by scanning this code. This is for WeChat and this is for Alipay. You pay 30 yuan. Hala. Kezo ma. Okay, so I need to show. All right, stay in here. So I need to show my this QR code in order to get access onto the onto the train. Such a cool experience here. Everything is convenient. But first of all, you need to go through a security checkpoint, kind of getting the VIP access using the elevator to go on the second floor. Hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. Oh, you are you saying you? Oh, I'm also crazy. From from Ghana. So Ghana, what they go just say Ghana. This is Jungle Rema. Such a cool family. <laughs> Such a cool family out here. That's one thing about Chinese. Always friendly. Most of them. Not everyone, but most of them are friendly. Um, yeah, so we had access to the elevator and now we are on the second floor. This is the, the train station, quite sophisticated with a lot of self-check-in. So let's see whether we can, we can do this. Oh, hala, it worked, it worked, yeah. Hey, let's go. <laughs> so now let's go, let's go on the train and experience this for the first time out here. And this is the, the station, to Long, Long Quan Shan Station. Now one cool aspect of this train ride is you can see the ground floor because there's a glass ceiling on the train. Ah, hala, 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 hala. Yeah, and now, as, yeah, and now, and now you know. Ani me ha, ha, yeah, hala, hala, hala. Ah, bukechi. And uh, as you can see, that's the train. That's the train approaching from that side. That's the sky train approaching, and yeah, so cool, so cool. All these guys you see are also here today to experience this sky, to experience this sky train, and yeah. That's the train coming through from that end. How close are we now? to modernity. So cool. So cool. The time I've been waiting for is finally here. Time to get on board this sky train and experience the first China sky train right here in Wuhan for the first time. This area is supposed to be the driver's area. So this area is supposed to be the driver, the driver's seat. But as you can see, this train is right on artificial intelligence and it's driverless. So there's no driver here operating this train. Hi man, are you, are you a YouTuber? Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. I'm also a YouTuber. What's your channel? Bengali channel. Indian. Ben Indian. You're Indian. Yeah. Your first time in China? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I think I've seen your vlog. Really? On YouTube? Yeah, I think today, I think... King Kwesi. Uh, you have been uh, uh, you're here in, uh, before? Yeah. No, this is my first time. Oh, this in, is my first time? This is my first oh, time here. Let me see Let me see your YouTube channel. My channel? Yeah. Oh. 
let me subscribe to your YouTube channel. So guys, I just met an Indian YouTuber right here in yeah. Wuhan. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. So what's, what's your channel again? Okay. Nice, 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 yeah. nice. This is the channel. So your first time, your first time in China? First time in China. And what? Amazed by this infrastructure. What, what do you think about China? I think everything, the development and the infrastructure, and they also preserve the forest also. Uh, modern cities also forest and balanced. balanced so you you, you, li you like it so far? Uh, yeah, I like so much. And when I uh, come back to India, I think I show them that how uh, different China, countries. China is yeah, right. Yeah. You like because a lot of people in India really don't know how yeah, China yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. how China because is developed. Our political, uh, like political tension, tension, yeah, tension between China and India. Yeah. Everybody knows that China is very uh, bad, but uh, when I, when they come here, they see how China is developing and they are so loving and uh, helpful people here. Nice, nice. How, how long have you been here? I think uh, ten days. I think ten days. Ten days and uh, tomorrow I'll go to I, I'm come come back to India. Nice, nice. Yeah. And so far, what is your experience in China? Uh, what is China. experience? Nice, nice. I, nice. I, I've been Shenzhen, Zanziaze, and uh, Chongqing, and Wuhan. Beautiful experience. Beautiful experience. Uh, yes, All right. yes. Thank you. Definitely, definitely. Thank you. We are we are just here on this glass with this little boy, Nebu Haipa. Nebu Haipa. Huh? <laughs> Hello. Ah, ta Haipa, ta Haipa. <laughs> So cool, so cool to experience this in China. I'm literally standing on the glass and I can see the ground floor as a train right here. And this train can accommodate 200 people at a time. It's a bit crowded today because it's the last day of the Chinese holiday. So a lot of people are out to experience this train ride. And we are 30 meters above the ground. So there's a glass here. So cool. Enjoy that, you got Jamaya. Oh, this is very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> so very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let's let's take a walk. Let's take a walk through. Oh, so they got two seats. They got two seats here. And as you can see, this family, this little girl, is enjoying <laughs> watching watching videos on the train with the dad sitting comfortably on this seat. Hello. Hello. Oh, mate, you can't, man, you can't do it, you can So, we, we're taking a walk, we're taking a walk through the train. There are seats. There are quite a number of seats here. So, I just walked through the train to the next end of it. And as you can see, there is no, there is no driver. So this is a security man on the train making sure everything is safe and it's, everything's in order. This, this was supposed to be the driver yeah, is, but do it, do it. But there is no driver. This train is right on artificial intelligence. So no driver is needed, it's driverless. And we are suspended 30 meters above the ground. <laughs> the little boy just shouted, Why go away? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out here enjoying the sky train with my yeah, yeah. My, my Indian brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a sky train approaching at this stop. So guys, literally gonna sit on the floor. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. yeah, sitting on the floor on the glass. So cool. Finally, our ride is over. Yeah, we're gonna go try the driverless car in China for the first time with my Indian brother. So now let's get off the train and head to the city to try the driverless car. 
the, finally the train ride is over and it was an amazing experience riding on China's first monorail out here in Wuhan. I had an amazing time. The highlight of this ride was me sitting on a glass and experiencing the ground floor from the skies. That was amazing. And I was just making funny comments that, well, hi, for me, I'm scared. But I wasn't scared, actually. It was just, you know, just a moment of being happy and experiencing this in China. It was a beautiful experience. The ride was smooth. I was on the train for about four stops and I just got back to where I started the vlog from. Yeah, so this is my experience of the monorail in Wuhan. And still quite a number of people are going to experience the sky train in Wuhan. All right, so guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to subscribe to my brother's channel. My brother is from India. Yeah, India experiencing China for the first time. Take this, take this, we don't the ground.